here's an update on Litecoin. I had Litecoin in the initial downward wedge with an ABC. And that ABC on the final C wave showed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And during this whole pattern formation, it was pretty much had a baton leading slightly ahead of Bitcoin. Its breakout out of this very large wedge was also in a form and fit that was a lot better looking than Bitcoin's. Now, in this correction, it's really, initially it looked like a, maybe another wedge forming, so we could have thought of it as a, as a fractal to the first one, but with further price development. I'm seeing more of this as a channel. And when price channels between a parallel line, two parallel lines, it has a pattern known as a bull flag. So if we zoom out of this a little bit, this is considered to be a bull flag. And the bull flag is when price is pointing downward. Just like the wedge, when it's pointing downwards, they call it the bullish wedge. Now, why is it bullish when price is declining? You have to look at it not so much in the declining of the price, but more in the scenario that's going on between the buyers and the sellers. At this point, at the top of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because the breakout occurred in an impulse. like that. So we had one, two, three, four, five. And after five waves, Elliott wave states that there is a retracement. And that retracement initially looked like maybe an a wedge, but now with additional further development of price, it's looking more to be like a bull flag. So at the point of wave five, there are a lot of sellers and they drive the price down. And the retracement thereafter is all mostly in three waves one, two, three. You can see that right here too. ABC. And in fact, every wave should be a three wave ish scenario. So here, you can see ABC, which can be labeled like this. And there's another round of ABC right here. Every move is a three wave, which means it's very correct. Another very prominent and distinct ABC. ABC is right there as well. In fact, this one I'll bring this down to here. And just like in a symmetrical triangle, you have A, B, C, D, E, and each letter has subways of three, so it'll be a three, 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 three. So this bull flag would need, so we've just defined a three, 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 three. And those become subways to an A, B, C, D, and E. That's how it all fits into place. It's like the subways allow you to have a quality control to a certain degree based on probability as to whether the labels are correct, the blue labels, because you are able to then count the required 
subwaves that compose the A, B, C, D, E. So I, the other indication is currently price is almost hugging the top line, the top trend line of the bull flag. From a bigger picture perspective, on a higher degree of trend for waves, Elliott waves, we can see this as one, two, three, four, five as being the subways of a higher degree wave one. And for similarity index, I'm going to put this into a yellow color, just like the way I have it on the Bitcoin. And this A, B, C, D, E, I am going to consider them as the subways to a higher degree wave two. And if this is correct, then we have one, we have two. If the next wave is going to be wave three, approximately 1.618, of one then what we need to do what we need to see is an impulse developing upwards so this is the bull bullish scenario that I have for Litecoin we have wave one two and three should be starting soon. Now yes, this can morph into any number of additional counts, complex to combination to what have you, yes. That is the subjective nature aspect or attribute of Elliott waves. In fact, every technical analysis is subjective to a certain degree. It is no black and white condition here because that kind of condition would require principle of certainty. And that is not possible. So here, one, two, three would mean we need to see ASAP a price breaking out of this upper white trend line and start impulsing and putting in the subways of the yellow three, which could in fact potentially give us all time new highs from now until maybe June. So I'm putting into the time frame as well. Now I do have a bearish scenario, but I'm not going to put it on right now. It'll just create a confusion more than anything else. So based on my probability assessment, this is my primary count. The only thing that is constant in price is change. We humans, in our own human brains, or our own ability to conceptualize, are, are in a, unable to truly understand a changeless state. Not at this level of mind, in the form of physical, no. So the only thing that is constant here will be change. And this can change to any other degree of scenario, but based on probability, Elliott wave, and pattern for bull flag, I believe we could make a little bit lower low, but still we need to break this upper white line of the bull flag and start putting in the subwaves of wave three, yellow wave three. All right, I hope you found this to be helpful. I hope it does help augment your own due diligence. Thank you.